So the History Channel, what were you going to say about that? History Channel. I actually love the History Channel. There's a having a, a different form of way to watch TV. About aliens? Well, no, not having cable. And, oh, uh, not sure. Not paying that expensive amount for cable to all those companies. You know who you are that charge outrageous amounts. And you should just be charging per channel, dumbasses. Mm -hmm. Um, I like I like uh, I like the History Channel. One of the shows I like is called Counting Cars, and it's about a hmm. uh, company down in Las Vegas hmm. that goes and finds vehicles, restores them, rebuilds them, and adds an ungodly amount of money to all the work they've done. So they purchase a vehicle for four thousand dollars, and they can sell it for twenty five, thirty thousand dollars. I need to get into this fucking mm. racket. Okay, so. I saw a car on the 4th of July at the Auburn downtown car show festival party yeah. thing. Yeah. You walk into the car show and the first car you see is so incredible that everything else you see is it's, garbage. Is shit, yeah. This car, so you look at it, it's this 30s chop top roadster. It's just beautiful. Oh, that Model T? I don't know what it was, but I don't think it was a Model T. I'm, I'm quite sure it was not. I think it might have been a Chevy, but... It had a chop top. It was black, but it had flames in blue and red and orange. Just these amazingly beautiful flames. And you're like, wow, that's really beautiful. And then you get closer and you notice those aren't flames. Those flames are skulls. Oh, the I whole, like that. All of the flames are a mural the whole length of the car. And the more you look at it, the more beautiful it gets. First of all, when you put this kind of money into a paint job, you know all of the chrome is pristine. You know every body panel lines up, and it's so beautiful. A guy standing next to me says to the owner, are you nervous having people this close to your car? And he goes, <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. I, I'm really uncomfortable. So don't bring the goddamn vehicle <laughs> out if you're so, nervous. So I, so I went up to him and I said, can I ask you, am I allowed to ask what a paint job like this costs? Can I can I try to guess? Please. Uh, Forty to sixty thousand dollars. So he said, the airbrush was thirty six thousand, and then with the prep and the clear coat and everything, it was fifty. Ah, I was. Close. So you were fucking dead in the money there. That star looked too white. <laughs> yeah, that was a, the worst white ass handshake in the world. No, it was literally a fifty thousand dollar paint job to which to which i've got a couple thoughts first is you can't drive it no you can't well it, you can you can't i mean short distance right around the block back in the garage if you're going to take it to the car show i would really be more comfortable if you put it on a trailer and then, and then if you're going to take it anywhere at all you can't park it unless you've got unless you've got a dude standing there watching yeah it. security and maybe some plexiglass around it like, like you could, you could like carry a trailer with it and put a plexiglass that's in the back of the trailer and just put it all even the way that, down. even that, you'd have to have a dude standing there watching. So, my, but, but then I thought, well, if you have got fifty grand for a paint job, uh, this is probably just a car. Yeah. I mean, it's your favorite car, but I mean, and it was. It was so beautiful, I didn't even take pictures, in part because my batteries were dead. I still had my phone, but it was it was off the charts. So you know why we're talking about the History Channel, Ty? Um, I was going to say because uh, I don't look at things I can cannot afford. But yeah, let's go with it. Now, the reason we're talking about the History Channel is because they do something that annoys the hell out of me, which is measure things in football fields. Why would you do that? Football fields is not a natural measurement. Don't use it. Don't use it. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere. They, well, they like to say, well, the new, uh, China just finished a new, uh, s you know, radio satellite, radio antenna, and it is 45 football field. Okay. I don't know how much that is. I know why you're saying it. You're saying it because it's you, a big number and it makes well, you think, whoa. No, because you expect no. me to conflate the field with the stadium. I see what you mean. Yeah. Not just the 100 yards, which is 100 yards in all reality, but everything around it. Right. Yeah. Right. It'd be like saying, oh my gosh, you want to know how tall my house is? It is 30 SD cards from Amazon. 
mind you, they pack them in these huge ass <laughs> boxes. It's like, well, wait, that sounds quite small. Okay, well then it's thirty Amazon. It, okay, then it's three hundred Amazon items. And you can't put it and, in. And a, you're in like, a well, football. wait, does that mean? Yeah. So it's like three hundred boxes. Nope, just the contents. Well, for fucking out loud. And they do the same thing. They're like, this body of water would contain this many Olympic swimming pools. I don't watch Olympic swimming. And and when they show it, they certainly don't give you a big wide shot of the pool and show you the... De- I mean, how, how how many gallons do you think is in an Olympic swimming pool? Do, 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 I would, uh, honestly, I would, you want to hear my guess? Yes. Two. Two. I don't... I, I know that's not right. No. But I think that's close. I think that's an, a positive integer, and I believe the number of gallons in an Olympic swimming pool is also an integer. Yeah, now here you go. Not Are you going positive. with a normal Olympic swimming pool, which is just for the, laps. the stroke laps, or is it also for a diving end, which would add more water in there? Ooh, because then you've got the the the, the, the extra dimension. Yeah, you bet. I don't measure things in swimming pools so I am not only not an expert I just don't give a shit do you think right now people are just turning this off because we're talking about diving no I think nope. they did that about 40 minutes ago all right well let's just which go is on which is frankly just before it started <laughs> <laughs> and frankly you guys I mean honestly if you're for those Eight of you still listening? I think I think you've made a good decision, and I'm proud of you. You're beautiful people. I'm proud of those of you who stuck around, but uh, those of you who didn't, those guys can just go fuck themselves. And they've missed out on so much. They can't hear me say it. As far as they know, I still love them, but I don't. I don't. They're a bunch of dick bags. How long is a is a football field anyway? Um. Uh, three cubits. I I don't. Oh, that's um, almost a that's almost a parsec. Oh no no it's a, it's a. I think it's a two point three gigadicks. Ooh, I hate that measurement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a eight point six terapubes. That is. That is almost that is almost a hundred bio cubes. I don't know how many pubes you would want to harvest to measure the length of a football field, but really we're measuring the area. And for that matter, shouldn't we go at least grass deep? Oh yeah. And is that like balls deep? <laughs> no, it's, it's more like ass deep. It's like <laughs> ass grass or gas deep. Nobody rides for free deep. <laughs> Nobody. No, I mean. Why do you think NFL players get paid so much if not for ass, grass, and gas deep? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure. And this is the sure. last time that I was invited to the podcast because <laughs> I just let him go off on a tangent. You are so fucking fired. I am. That's okay. I'll, uh, I'll find uh, that job down at uh, Jimmy's Quick sea Lube. World. <laughs> Either way, either way. Oh my God! Either either way, it's you know, big black so and it, water. Hmm? You know, it's just ended up History Channel. Quit measuring things with football fields. Either go with inches, feet, or meters. Yards, meters. Yeah, yeah, something. Well, no, no. If you're gonna go with yards, you're still measuring it in a football field, because that's how a football field is measured. Right, with but it's also measured. Wide? How wide is a foot? Do you know how wide a football field is? I believe it's uh, it's uh, twenty. It's yeah, twenty. I believe twenty yards. Yeah, yeah. If if you don't know, and if we don't know, do us a favor, look it up on Google, and then leave a message. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. On how. And wide for that is. matter, tell us what a better measurement would be. Yeah, we want to know what your idea of a measurement would be. And be be good to to see or to hear. Do you realize that this field is 112 Ron Jeremy's by <laughs> by about 23, 24 Ron Jeremy? Okay, see that's not a good metric. It's yep. it's not a pic. It's in my head now. 
and I'm not excited about it. I'm I'm actually quite displeased. I'm really lost right now, but that's just really? me. Yeah. No, the hedgehog. I'm not. You're not. I know You're the hedgehog. Not. I I know the hedgehog. That's a guy I can't impersonate. <laughs> News the hedgehog. I do. We're buddies. We're buddies. <laughs> J Dog once said, uh, "Yeah, that's not a real person. Nobody can do that." And I was like, uh, "You might want to Google it." You know what's funny is uh, is he's got a dicky do. His stomach stick out more than his dicky do, <laughs> but in reality, no, it doesn't. Yeah, but at the same time, he mostly nails butterfaces. He's got a nice body, butterface. Ooh, that's a double bagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He gets paid. Yeah, he does. That's All why right. he's called the Hedgehog. So, you know, what another great podcast. I this suppose. was fun. I like when hey. we kind of go off the wall, man. Me too, because the notes I had for the podcast, I got so much shit left over for the future. And this stuff is really hard to come up with. Yeah, it is, baby. That's why I like to free ball it. Oh, by the way, <laughs> don't sit in this chair. Probably, probably should have mentioned that before you sat in this chair. Cause I'm free, <laughs> free balling. Oh my god. Okay, well, in case you can't tell, it's late and we're getting punchy. Yeah, baby. So, all right, guys. Well, you know, that's it for this week, and uh, I'll go into the closing segment here uh, after Ty takes off. Yeah, baby. Mostly so I can talk shit about him. That's how I know <laughs> life, man. It's not my first time. Of course, now I probably will just to be a dick. Go ahead, man. You're a good person, and I don't mind. He says that, but we'll see after the segment airs. You won't be the first person. Monaco. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The place where you robbed the bank. You had to fucking bring that up. Nope, but I'm going to end the closing segment. Oh, man, you're a dick. <laughs> I am so out. He fucking didn't believe me, but okay. Here, here we go. Closing segment starts... Eventually. Bye-bye!